Right now I'm standing with Andre Williams, winner of the nation's top running back. Andre, Boston College, what a successful career you had. What does it mean to be here at the Walter Camp Football Week? Um, well, you know, it's, it's, it's just a great time um, being able to have my family come out and um, being recognized with all the other Walter Camp All-Americans. It's, it's just a great experience and I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. And what is it like to see them on a different, in different light, not necessarily competing on the football field? You guys are all here to celebrate your uh, fantastic accomplishments. Uh, like I said, it's a lot of fun. Um, on the football field, there's a lot of you know aggressive emotions coming out, but here you're just able to see uh, you know people's regular personalities, and um, it's just great to get to know other kids from around the country. Now for Andre, the list of accolades goes on and on, All-American, All-ACC, Heisman finalist. You know, there's a lot to be proud of, but something that's pretty amazing that separates you from everyone else is that you graduated a full semester early. How do you kind of feel that you embody what it truly means to be a student athlete? <laughs> um, well, you know, BC is a, it's, it's a different school. There's, there's not a lot of schools that, you know, hold you to that high of a standard where, you know, you're truly supposed to be a student athlete. Um, and when I came in my freshman year, I was like, student athlete, you know, it's, it's kind of an oxymoron. Like, you can't do both. But, um, you know, that, that's, that's not what they believe there. You can do both. And um, once I really figured out, you know, what it takes, you know, in terms of, time management and prioritizing what you really need to do in a day, um, it got easier and you know I think that it, the experience really humbled me and I, I learned a lot from it. What could you tell future players who are going to be entering college, playing that level, what's one little tip of advice you'd give them? Uh, <laughs> you need a lot, a lot more than a tip but um, <laughs> You know, I think it's, it's just knowing what you, what you came to school to do um, and keeping that at the forefront of your mind every day when you wake up because you're going to wake up sometimes and not want to crawl out of bed, but, you know, once you, you, you have it in your mind what you came there to do and you're really serious about it, it you know, it shouldn't be that hard. Football is it's, it's, it's something that is, it's, it's an amazing experience and it's a lot of fun to do, but it's such a finite window in your life. Um, you know, it's, it's an opportunity. Um, but it's, it's also a platform to bigger and better things. Football isn't going to be your whole life. Um, you know, even if you play 10 years, in 10 years from now I'll only be 31. So what comes after that? You, you know, you sort of have to build a base and, and, and move on from there.